Hey, orange one here. So we are still in place down, uh, and I was trying to get to like this dojo. I think that'd be kind of cool to check that out. Um, we do have some enemies around here, so I'm gonna try and fight my way through them to take that place. Basically, that's that's the long term plan. Uh, we do have our backpack and like our gun. We do also have a laser rifle right now, which is what we're going to use to primarily take out enemies from um, range for like, I think the foreseeable future, because basically, as you can see, it's pretty dang effective, you know, especially considering that we're not really going to be using it against most enemies, like we can just Jane like this on most enemies. And we're going to the dojo just because I kind of want to play more with the martial arts to be honest. And I kind of want to get those. The The other thing that's on my wish list before I end this character is um, going up to this little area and checking that out. I want to I wanna see what we got in the, the flight in the game. I want to maybe even debug it so that my character has that ability, you know? To, to control those things. Okay, there's this incandescent hulk. My hoarder part of me just cannot resist it. I need to... I need to see what what's in here. Get these out. Let's see what we got here. There might be something that sees me, actually. I should have probably shut the windows. I'm gonna regret that, aren't I? And look, my character's already hungry. I swear, there's nothing I can do to, like, stop this character from, like, dying of, like, hunger. Um, there's the... one of these. Yeah, I'll take that, sure. And look, I'm already very hungry. Like, seriously, this character, there's, there's no possible way to sustain the amount of food that you need for him. It's just not possible. I swear. I've kind of given up a little bit on maintaining that. And just kind of embraced the fact that the character... And in this particular build, which I can't go past, unfortunately, because my character's uh, version of PK is rebalanced. Like, it's it's kind of like an old version, and that hasn't been updated in a while. I don't know what's kind of going on with the dev on that. They've been really good about it in the past, but it seems like, you know... For whatever reason, it's not been getting done. So this this character's got a number of bugs kind of in game going on with like things. Um, why not? Okay. But you know, I also get it, and it's totally fine. And I'm happy with playing it how it is. Like I I don't like people who complain about that that stuff and then like don't appreciate what we have. It's like, dude, we have like some pretty sweet stuff going on here. I'm gonna just honestly go melee at this point. I just think that Nosh, like, needs to needs to take these things out in melee. Batwing, yeah, I don't care. Bring it. And then, do I have my gas mask still? I actually am wearing my gas mask. That's kind of silly. Should probably not be doing that, but I don't know what's in smoke here. I mean, it could be nothing, but it could also be something I really don't want to mess with. Like it could be like a ichus or something else that could um, mess up my clothes pretty bad. Where's that skeletal shocker? They're pretty far away. Yeah. This should be fine. I don't know if this smoke thing heard that now. Doesn't look like it. An Ashen Brawler. I think that I can... The Ashen Brawler I'm pretty sure isn't going to be too bad for me. Got a wrestler here who wants to prove something. Yeah. I mean, I can kill wrestlers. And 
I think they'll honestly bleed out from those wounds that they sustained eventually. So I can just kind of pull them up here. Um, maybe not. And they are still bleeding, you can see that. So, I mean, the fact is, is that the zombies actually bleed a lot. He might be bleeding less now, I'm not sure. They do, just, they do have just like an obscene amount of health, so there's that issue where I don't think they're, you're going to be likely to bleed them out, usually. Well, Ash and Brawler, yeah, like I said, I have my gas mask on, so... I can probably fight you. And it's not going to be that big of a deal. There we go. Okay. Like I said, not too bad. Yeah, I think that now that we've essentially become, like, immune to damage with thermal dissipation and whatnot, I'm pretty sure that <laughs> this character is, like, kind of done in terms of, like, I mean, it's fun. It's fun to play. I'm not going to say it's not fun to play, because I do actually enjoy it a fair amount. But it also kind of is like, man, there's like not very much challenge. If you're playing right. Maybe I shouldn't be playing right, though. Maybe I should be being a little bit silly. With how I'm playing. I mean, I am being a little bit... Oh man, this dude's messing me up. Can I take that off, please? There we go. Hello, zombie. I know we could we could do this faster if we would get the gun out. But I, I think that I've been playing as Chip Chop a lot um, in the Caves of Cud, and so I've been enjoying the melee with that. So I've been kind of like wanting to do that here. Uh, I'm just going to shoot you. No, I'm not going to shoot you. Maybe... The wrestler? If I can hit the wrestler without shooting the other ones. Yeah. Oh. The, as you saw, the wrestler was just kind of a pain for us in the past. It's just... Eh. I think that's probably good. I don't want to waste more power. And then let's take that and get that out. Just drop it on the floor. I don't know where these zombies came from, but it looks like there's still some up to the northwest. I feel like I, I shouldn't really be trying to clear these dudes out. And I should just be kind of moving on, but... You know. At the same time, I'm having a hard time with that. So, isn't there a way that you can, like, dig these up or something? I thought that uh, you could, yeah, like with these grays. Uh, maybe I need to be having a shovel or something. But I thought that that was something that was built in game. I'm gonna try it. I think that I've got an entrenching tool. I kinda wanna show off that if it is in game stuff. Uh, as, uh, from what I remember. Oh, there's a Hulk over there. Okay. Whatever. Um, there's nothing really coming over this way right now. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I have a shovel in here. It's this game, man. To the east. Yep. Good. Uh, let's do it. See if this this works. I thought that you could. Uh... Is it not clear rubble? No. Could have sworn there is there was something where you could do that. But if I do. And there's Dig Pit. But, yeah. That's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, that's weird. I could have sworn that there was like a thing that you used to be able to do. Oh my gosh. 
How much damage am I doing with a shovel to that thing? <laughs> Look at that. Did you see that? Oh man, with a shovel, I just like killed the uh, zombie predator like actually pretty efficiently. Hold on, I just want to see the combat on this thing. Bashing 14 and a pretty good hit chance. Huh. Okay. We're gonna put that back though. I mean, I could play this this game with ridiculous weapons, like not real weapons. That is also a possible way to extend this, this character. Do I... I do not have my guns. I need to go pick those up before we drive off anywhere into the sunset. That juggernaut coming here. Yeah, if the juggernaut's coming here, I'll, I'll take care of them. Come here, juggernaut. You know what I wanted to try was what if I go not uh what if I go to like not this um yeah I don't think we have too many things but I do have I think some bionics now is this what does this one do no not that one um Maybe I don't have it. There was some sort of like offensive defensive CVM that I thought I had installed, but it doesn't look like I do. Unfortunate. Or wait, hold on, electroshock. Is this it? Extra damage. Um, yeah, let's see, can I I'm just gonna do it with my hands, honestly. Electroshock. Let's see how much damage I do to this guy. With my hands. Oh, I shocked him and I did six damage. Oh my gosh, I can I can punch these guys and do actual damage. Hold on, if I turn that off, yeah, I'm not actually doing damage without it, but with it. How much uh, power does it take? I am in. I am definitely intrigued. So Aikido seems to be doing damage. What if I do not Aikido? What if I do, uh, is it that one? That seems to be, yeah, okay. That seems to be working pretty nicely and it doesn't really take much bionic power either. Oh, what? <laughs> I just damaged my own gloves with the force of the, the attack that I did there. That is so funny. Oh man. That is that is actually pretty cool. I like that. I'm enjoying that. <laughs> Very cool. Let's uh let's let's kill this joker not with our hands, with our electroshock. If I I'm I'm curious if I do Tiger Kung Fu if that does more or less damage. I mean, he's actually kind of hurting me, to be fair. Um, hold on. Tiger Kung Fu is not the one that I want here. I think Aikido, because we're going to get kind of a number of them attacking us. And kill that. Okay, he's definitely hurting us. I think we're going to kill it, and I don't think they're going to be able to kill me. Just gonna. I think the Aikido one just doesn't do very much damage, so I think we're gonna go with the Krav Maga. Maybe. Yeah, I think the Krav Maga does nicely against the bigger opponents. Yeah, like that's that's doing solid damage. You know. Sorry about the heartbeat. I know it would be way faster if I just get my laser rifle and do it. I just think that this is kind of cool. It's for the uh, the internet points, right? Just don't send me into the car, please. Thank you. Cool. Internet points accumulated. <laughs> oh no, there's another one. 
<laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna make us do that again. Let's get that heartbeat back. If that juggernaut comes here, then I'll I'll get my gun. Don't worry. Um let's get let's get moving. Let's get rolling. I don't I need to change how I play this game from clearing to just kinda like moving through and going to where you wanna go and making sure that they're not gonna stop you uh from doing what you wanna do there, you know. Like look that juggernaut. Sure they're coming over here, but whatever. Who cares? It doesn't really affect me, honestly. Now these guys, this affects me, for sure. I'm gonna need to be a little bit more careful here. Can I close that? I think, yeah, let's just kinda hang out for a little bit. Maybe, um, have some more of that charge. Um, yeah, maybe not. Could get that out. It's not a bad crap weapon. Okay, whatever. Not the first time I've heard that. They need to open their mind. <laughs> oh man. What's with all the zombies over there? There's a lot of them right there. There's also a juggernaut up north. Maybe I should take care of that juggernaut. I think that it's gonna cause problems for me in the future if I don't. Let's just... Yeah, we'll take care of it. And the good thing is that we're healing up actually right now. So, it's perfect. Electroshock, let's turn you off. We don't need you on right now, because I'm not actually gonna use uh, melee for a little bit. But I've got tons of power now, so I can afford to do this. You know, ever since I installed the new Biolex. They're pretty, they're pretty nice Biolex. Having the extra power. Like, I, I don't know why I was artificially challenging myself like that. I thought maybe for like, almost like gameplay purposes I was kind of doing that, but it just doesn't... doesn't work. This is like, totally fine. Um... There was quite a few zombies up here, though. I get a little bit nervous about charging. Charging in too much. What have we got here? We got a uh, skeletal shocker and juggernaut right there. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else has just seen me? A survivor? Is that what it is? Yeah. I don't know, that's a shocker brute. Um, well, you know what I could do is the shocker brute, I actually could... I could turn on my thing that dissipates electricity, right? Or I could just shoot him. Yeah, let's just shoot him. I don't think we're going to have enough power to take out the Juggernaut anyways. So I gotta fall back to my car. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta chill for a little bit. Charge the batteries. Um, okay. Yeah, I think that this game... I'm still enjoying the combat. I would really like to get to that dojo though and see what else I can find. Because I think we can get some good stuff still. You know? Okay, let's just... I'm just gonna honestly... Maybe do a little reading just for fun. Sure. <sighs> I'm just gonna have a little fun read. While we heal up, get our pain down. Our health up. Maybe a little bit more. I'll do another chapter. Uh, yeah. And look, we're still kind of like where we were originally. Still right by that little yard. Okay, I'm going to just... 
run out here. Drop some stuff down. And... You know, let's get the Jane out. Yeah, sure. Kill that. Nice. Oh, we got a survivor coming our way. Yeah, we'll just kind of see what we can do. Because it's just kind of, it's hard to drive through here with these cars where they are. I and mean, we can kind of try and push them out of the way a little bit. I just get nervous doing that with like juggernauts like all around. You know? And like skeletal shockers and juggernauts. Like, come on. Like, that's, that's, a, that's a good way to get your start. Car stuck. And if anything is going to kill this character, it's getting the car stuck. You know? Huh? Just getting overwhelmed and not being able to get the car out. So if you stay near the car, pretty safe. Yeah, um, I see as the Juggernaut starts to look at me funny. Where is it? That's right here. Okay, cool. I mean, if you've been watching this, you know what I'm going to do here. You know how it works with these guys. Lasers for the Juggernauts. They seem to be everywhere now. So it seems to be good. Proven to be very good to have a um, reliable strategy for taking them out like that. And then hello, others. There's another Juggernaut coming my way. Great. I mean, I could get the actual proper gun out. So, I don't know why I'm saving bullets. It's not like I really need to be. Truth be told. Yeah. I think, though... Yeah. Let's, let's get this out. Or not. Uh, hold on. Where is it? No, I don't I don't want to use that. I think I'm going to try and shock him with the Jane and see how that goes. See how much damage I can do that way. Um, so let's see. Get that on. Ooh, that's a, that is pretty nice damage. And I mean it's not gonna get messed up like my gloves are, I don't think. Now the question is, is do I want to boost my strength a little bit more and see what that does? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get our adrenaline going. Yeah, I think we are doing um, decent damage actually right now. And it's, it's pretty quick too. Yeah, he's he's regretting this. Oop, there goes my scabbard. I mean, it doesn't. It's not gone. Oop. Well, actually, it is kind of messed up now. Okay, the juggernaut is pretty much dead, though. If I look at him, is it is it like actually bleeding or what? What's the deal? Goodness. There we go. Come on. He <laughs> thought he had me. But then I electroshocked him to death. <laughs> I don't know how how it calculates the damage there. It seems to be like your weapon gets to be like a little bit more powerful and you shock them or something. I'm not sure. I don't know. It seems that like if you're actually stronger, it actually does more damage. I'm just curious, with the lecture shock on, how much damage I do to this guy. Okay. And then, I, I mean, we gutted them, so granted. Yeah. See, with the, then they get shocked in addition to the attack. 
But I think it does actually do a little bit more damage. Just like it doesn't seem to do much more, but with the armored enemies, it seems to be enough. Interesting. A little uh, cataclysm science there for you. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect from me? <laughs> right? At this point in the game, I'm going to be trying to learn, just see how the mechanics work a little bit. <laughs> oh man. So OP. I'm not necessarily OP. There's that skeletal shocker there. Are you guys just like blind? Like what's going on here? Okay, that one tried to get me with acid. Didn't recognize me as something that doesn't mind that. <laughs> cool. Alright, um... So things are looking like we might be able to get that skeletal shocker and then get down to the dojo. You know... Skeletal shocker, can I... I don't think I want to try and punch you if you're skeletal. It's like a bad idea. Let's just shoot him with a laser gun. We probably also should be getting the other stuff. Um, like our scabbard fixed up and our gloves. Don't we have a tailor kit or a, like a repair kit or something? Or do I already have it on me? I already have it on me. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, that's the. I, I do like how this game has those mechanics to it, but at this point, I feel like this character. I. The only interest I have in it is just like kind of like wrecking things, you know? And like, I do enjoy it, but I, I kind of also want to streamline it a little bit at this point. <laughs> you know? Like, I get realism, and I enjoy it. But right now it's just like, roll through the town. Oh no, our drilling ran off. That's not good. But we're okay, we've cleared out most of the enemies. Oh, that one actually might have CVMs, right? The one that's right here. I need to be careful. I don't want the other one seeing me just quite yet. If I can get CVMs here. Okay, close that. Drop this. Get this out. Actually, hold on. Can I get some more battery in me? Cool. I think that... Uh, that should be good for now. You know, as as much as I was like saying like, oh, this game has glitches, like it run like half an hour, totally fine. Runs really smooth. Like all the enemies I encountered, it was fun. Like totally good. Fine. Enjoyable. You know? Uh I think I already have wired reflexes, don't I? Maybe not. I think that that might be one that I do not have. Oh, cool. That is, I think that's a good one. Reaction times giving you more dexterity. I mean, that would be appreciated. <laughs> sure, cool, very nice. I'll definitely take that. I don't think I'm gonna take the other ones though. And then there was this guy that was just up here as well. Why don't we just gamble with the laser gun? Where did he go? Hello? Hello? Okay. Right over. We'll just drop our, our stuff and we'll, we'll deal with him when he, he decides to show up. Because I know that they're around here. Okay. What we could also do is we could get the harmonica out. <laughs> get that going. Get that playing. We're getting near half an hour though, so I think I'm going to end this pretty soon. The one thing about Cataclysm is that it's easy to save at any point. 
continue our adventures another day. Where is this dude? There's a lot of them right here. Okay, Skeletal Shocker and Juggernaut have seen me. Okay, well, I mean, I had wanted you to see me, but... Oh, hello. Let's uh, turn that on just for a second. I don't know how much time I'm going to get for shots before it gets to me. It's plenty. We should be fine. There we go. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, right? Okay, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.